today I'm going to show you to my first project that I had done few, few months back about the modification of uh, milk filling milk filling machine that you can see the video of my project here Here uh, you can see parts. Okay, let me pause the video. The working principle of the business is that uh, we got uh, on photo sensor, not photo sensor, IMAX sensor, and one encoder here, and one vertical and one horizontal heater to, to seal the, the pouch. And uh, we have one. Uh, pump milk pump which draw milk from the reservoir not reservoir yeah, milk tank okay mm. let's play the video and so you well uh, one, one more thing there is a heater actually you can see here uh, I better my video <coughs> yes. yeah temperature controller information pump these are the, the indicator for the label dispenser that's the label that's the wrapper label means wrapper the clothes say clothes and IMAX sensor delay for the product or that uh, delay delay time is exactly for uh, uh, when it's sensed IMAX sensed this mark on the wrapper and the delay times after some times that you write here and maybe suppose it's two seconds then the wrapper will stop after two seconds then it got the ceiling as you can see here uh, i think the time is zero second here because it's okay with zero second if you need longer parts with you know, longer parts you can increase the time this part is uh, for half liter you can see the video uh, here the coding for that program here I have Yes, there is two section of that filling machine on the left hand side and right hand side. You can see the here. You can see if I have created two function blocks, one for the left side and one for the right side. And this one is the main program, and it's for left side and this one for right side. And these are the my symbols, my addresses. So you can see here. Here the symbols. Addresses in uh, inside the my function blocks. You can see that my coding. The coding is a ladder diagram. Coding there for the IT. Basic logic uh, of working logic or plus uh, what the simple is well uh, um, here you can see the high speed counter which is not used I in that machine I bypassed this one no I this logic didn't work in that machine that's why I only control through the IMAX sensor you can see uh, iMac <coughs> when you start the um, motor here you start the motor it will run what is the control of this motor is motor keeps running and the uh, 
control of a clutch that's uh, stop the wrapper and again start the wrapper is controlled by this clutch you can see here and this one is controlled by okay 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 it's controlled by the counter uh, high speed counter ah, okay. <coughs> Let's see here. I think this one is not uh, or the lower program that's running that machine. Let me check. Yeah, this is this program. Final running program. When you start the main motor, a uh, main drive, it's continuously keep running, and uh, that uh, he, that's cutting this controller somehow. That there is gear, and for the wrapper, this is controlled by a clutch, the DC clutch, one for stopping, one for restarting the wrapper. This one is controlled by I mark, and I mark. The IMR, no, I have the timer. The timer is controlled by the IMAX. So I start by the timer, reset by itself. Yet the main logic, the only reason behind this is it is controlled by IMARC. And to increase the length, as I already told, you have to increase the set timing value. When there is, I have created the logic to be controlled by the uh, encoders. And what here, I want to use this logic. Because the timer logic is working fine, working fine, properly. That's why I have. I want to use the encoder logic. And uh, here for the HMI, you can see here in DOP sort. I can't show the this HMI well. You can simulate this one. But not in the real, just like the real world. Sorry, try by stop. Just not. Okay, okay. Let us start simulator. Tools, communication. Okay. It's online, not online, and through simulator. So, okay, running what? Okay, here you can see inside the function block what simulation the emergency. Switch for emergency switch for left hand side. Yeah, I think so it will work. Yeah. yeah you can run it through simulation you have to run through the main option here for motor start, motor start for HMI or for motor start it what is the end of logic it's a uh, okay and now it's time for pump 
pump start it's quite difficult to run the simulation of this program yeah heater start heater i mark sensor level motor clutch so you can see how this is started by it um, i mark sensed match sensor feedback match mm. i think i can't explain how it's working because in the video i only showed our so there's multiple sensors to this keep the machine to this logic running here you can see uh, sensors one is a cloth sensor one is for level start sensor this these sensors the sensor start the wrapper motor and let's cloth motor and the iMac iMac sensor stop this one iMac sensor stop the let's let's motor I'm on sensors set level start this is start the motor and I mark sensor will stop the level after a few minutes or not few seconds cloth sensor It's really difficult to explain it. How is the logic is working? Like you can see in video. It's, a, it's already so. Well, if anyone needs this logic or this program, we can. So that they can try in themselves. Mm -hmm. I can send you this program along with HMI. It's got a HMI design.